Hello, I'm Teodor Tanev. If you already watched the SAP Portal Customization Benefits video, you may already saw from user perspective how Portal look and feel could be changed with configuration and development methods. In this video, we will go to some details from administrative and developer perspective. You may already have created some custom desktop, framework or theme, but let's quickly check the main points in their creation. To create a desktop, you need a framework and a theme. The framework creation could be easily done only with one copy. You only have to go and copy the original one provided by the portal and then go to your custom folder and paste it like copy. Theme creation could be done in the same manner, but in this video we are going to use new tool for teams called Ajax Team Studio. It is very easy to use, you have only to select the color. You can do a preview of the portal and you can go to the done button for export. And just save it. The problem with it is that there are few colors. You can see here that you are not able to use any color you like. And also the color is set to each element of the portal. So if you need different colors for the portal, you will need to do some additional customization of the theme that you just exported. The theme could be imported to the portal from the transport themes view. You only have to go Select the exported team and import it to the portal. After framework and theme are created, you can create your desktop and assign it to the corresponding users that have to see it. You have to create your desktop. It co could be also done with copy-paste. When you have your desktop done, you can open it and just assign your new Ajax framework page. Remove the old one and you can add the new team. and set it as default. Now you only have to save, close and uh, when you copy from here the ID of the desktop, you can open the master rule collection and add the rule for the user you want to see the desktop. If you need to use in the new framework, a custom view, for example, top level navigation with drop downs, you will need to get the top level navigation component from the server file system and import it to the NetWeaver developer studio. The file should look like this with the same name for the top level navigation. So, it should be imported in the studio and it will have shown here file system. The project has already defined JavaScript and CSS structures. 
anything that should be added as functionality or style should be done here in the code. Important is also to change the component name into the special portal app XML file. So on deployment, the application will be recognized as another one. Like here, you have to change that name so it will be used on the runtime like that. If you want to add new functionalities here, you will have to modify the default ones, like here. For example, some code to add the drop downs, or you have to create new JavaScript files with your own implementation that have to be maintained and included into the default JavaScript files. After you're finished with your development, you will need to deploy an air file that contains the WAR so the application will be available on your server. If you go back to the portal and the application is already deployed, you will find the application with your iView inside. The only thing you have to do here is to copy the iView, go to your custom folder, and paste the item as PCD object. Now, if you open the framework page, you will have to delete the old one or only hide it. And on its place, you have to include the new one so it will be visible instead of the default one. In this example, I'm going to make invisible the Ajax top-level navigation. When it's added, you have to choose the same container as the one that you already hide or removed. In this case, this will be the top level navigation container. You only have to save your change. And when you refresh your portal, you will have the new customized item. Thank you for watching, I hope this video was helpful for you.